One area of law that I think is not given enough attention in law schools is the whole area of pre-contractual documents. Some people wonder why would people go to a pre-contractual document like a letter of intent or a memorandum of understanding and not go straight to the contract. Sometimes the parties need to establish whether or not there's even the basis for a deal in the first place. Negotiations are very time consuming and expensive so you would rather avoid all of that if there isn't a deal to be had in the first place. Sometimes there simply is not enough time to create a full-blown contract before a particular piece of work or service needs to be done. If you don't want the pre-contractual document to be binding, it's better to give a name that doesn't seem binding, like letter of intent or memorandum of understanding. There may be parts of that document that they want to be completely binding, for instance, confidentiality or exclusivity. So it's very important to remember that even though you declare that a pre-contractual document is not meant to be binding, it may become so 